In this series, we're going to be building an object-oriented login and registration system from scratch. Um, we're going to be building several helper classes and also some of the main classes that we're going to use to make this work. So a lot of this functionality can be taken and used elsewhere as well. So as well as being a login and registration system, it's also uh, an object-oriented programming um, learning curve. We're going to be only touching on really the basics of object-oriented program but if you are new to um, working in this way of writing code in PHP then it should give you a bit of a drive to go forward and learn a lot more and learn intermediate and advanced topics. So let's take a look around the, the system that we're going to be building. It's very basic in terms of design. You can see that there's absolutely no um, markup on the page. We're just going to completely take away from all of that and just focus on the, the core PHP aspect of it. This is also going to make it super easy for you to integrate into your own website as well. So um, let's go ahead and just uh, take a look at the database first and see what we're actually dealing with. Now there's three tables only. Um, we do have quite cool functionality in this application, but there's not going to be too much going on so it's going to be easy to manage and then you can extend it uh, later on if you like from what you've learned so the first one really is the the users table which is the core of this this is where our user data will be stored so you can see that um, there's only one registered user that's myself um, we've got a password a salt uh, name when we joined and the group that we're in so the groups are basically uh, different groups with different permissions. So we do have an integrated permission system in this uh, in this code as well. And in this case, I'm an administrator um, and the admin flag is set to one. So if a user is of ID two, that means they're an administrator and they have admin permissions. So we can set specific permissions uh, for specific users if we want. Now we also have a user session table which uh, helps for the uh, remember me functionality. So you can see if we go ahead and log in, there's a checkbox to allow us to be remembered. So let's go ahead and just log in and take a look around here. Um, obviously a user can register as well. Um, that's that's very basic functionality, just supplying a username, a password, etc, etc. Um, so once we're logged in, we can look at our profile. So each user can have their own profile based on their username. Um, we can also change our password, very useful, update the details of our profile, um, and we can also log out. Uh, we also have the ability to register as we've already noted. Now this might look quite basic, but we're actually in including some quite cool functionality in here and like I said we're building uh, well we're bu building static helper classes which are going to do things like make it super easy to validate things as well so if we go back and register you can see that uh, we get a uh, sort of validation here now this once we build the class is going to be really easy to work with and you can take this validation class and use it anywhere just straight out of the box so the, the way this has been built is very module uh, sort of module based so you can take away things that you learn from this and use it elsewhere as you see fit um, so if we take a quick peek at the at the source code, you can see that the classes uh, folder here is full of helpful classes. So for things like dealing with input, uh, we have a massive uh, PDO database wrapper as well, which makes working with your database super easy and secure as well. We have everything um, automatically um, automatically sanitized as we use it in our queries. Um, also things like validation, as I've just mentioned, we have a validation class uh, to look up, say, unique values, make sure things match, uh, max and min values. And the way this is written is it can be it can be extended super easily. So you can uh, add additional functionality as long as you understand uh, how this is built in the first place. So that's what we're going to be building. Um, so hopefully this is going to be uh, extremely easy to take this functionality as you require it uh, and use it elsewhere uh, in, in other PHP applications. But um, yeah, for now, this is exactly what we're going to be building. And uh, by the end of the series, you'll have learned hopefully more about object oriented programming in PHP and uh, you'll have a secure login and registration system.